Hello, hello, Ebrinian. How y'all doing today on this fat Tuesday? And good afternoon to you, Juice. So we're kind of just doing a bunch of fucking doodles and stuff today. Just random sketches and stuff. Also, I just realized, uh, I think I made this back in, like, high school. Because at the time, I'm, I was just gobbled down to some beef flavored instant ramen, very tasty, hope it was. I, I'm pretty sure I made this back in, like, 2022. Life is not just I show blue. <laughs> not PNG. Yeah, this is how I used to draw myself. And I literally made this after I had like a very sucky January back in twenty twenty two. Hmm. Hold on. Wait, my fucking camera. Or am I twacking? I need to get a fire alpaca. And acquire her. You have no gaming setup, just desk, mini fridge, old chair, old ass PC, a keyboard, and a mouse. The highlights of your day is stealing your silly ass figurines. Ah uh, yes, what is shuffle? What is it indeed? The amount of freedom you have is wild. Been waiting since you woke up this morning for the streamer to stream. Isn't it like evening for you though? <laughs> It's like 
midnight where you are? Ah, uh, yes. Midnight. Oh, 12 p.m. I fucked up. Just, I guess, just at noon. Never stay up at 12 a.m. Never in your life. Well, that's what I do. I am mutually suffering in my boots. And uh, that's mainly because if I try to go to bed at like 10 p.m., I wake up at like 4 in the morning or 2 a.m. Because my body's just like, oh, you're trying to go to sleep? Fuck you, it's a nap! <sighs> just those sorts of things. Well, once... And it was at, in grade school with your cousin, it was 3am, and you were acting like a gorilla during a sleepover at your house. Oh my god. Just typical girly stuff. You just act like creatures. As that is the girl experience. Then Grandpa came in with only his boxers on and told you to go to bed. Oh god. Very traumatic. I'm damn sure it was. Also, I have a cat in the window. He's a saber aber sabadell. She do the wub on my stylus. Your cousin didn't need to see that. Oh god. Yippee. Yes. Actually, I can probably, like, take a picture of her. Sappo! Okay, I have taken the picture. Like seven. She's like seven or eight years old right now. Actually, she's probably like eight years old. Or probably like nine. I've had her for a while. 
I've had her since middle school. <laughs> Eventually, I'm going to need to get a catio. Like a little small one for my room. Because she likes hitting out behind my drawing tablet. I could probably, like, get a catio, put a little bed in it, and see if she likes it. Are you gonna say hi to chat? Hey! <laughs> she nibbled me! Yes, if we. Oh, she licked my hand. All is forgiven. <laughs> but anyway. Let's work on Dahlia. So, for anyone wondering, about the tax reasons for being married. The dog chews your fingers all the time. Oh my god. It's because that's literally what she does. It happens before the story happens. Like the general time that the story occurs. He literally he decides to get married to her roommate. Which... Platonic marriage? It's sort of both. And this is the roommate. Her name is Lily. No last name determined yet, but probably going to be some kind of Filipino last name. But... She text... She text Dahlia over here. Her, it kind of like it was basically like, what if we got married for tax reasons? Evergreen? Eh, maybe. He. Eh. Oh. Hi. Hold on. I think he wants to leave. Me. The Sabu has been weed. I'm probably going to look up some like Filipino names. Names for her. Because Yeah. So only so, only a few of the characters I have right now have last names. There's Fennel Pappenheim. There's Osmanth is Shui Jing. There is Dahlia Garm and there is Patchley Gimle. And yes, these two's last names are Fire Emblem references. And simultaneously references to uh, Nordic mythology. But anyway. Choose out of my characters gleefully! Please do not chew on them, they will bite back. Like, I don't know what Mamba is. It's so yummy. Google it. Yeah. Hello, Crow. Hmm. 
Oh, fruit chews. We don't really have these. These where I live. But they probably have like red food dye. Yeah, they probably have like. Ah, oh, yes, it contains wheat. My mom can't have these. Ah, oh, yes, natural and artificial flavors. Okay, it probably has red dye in it, which I'm allergic to. <laughs> yeah, my parents can't have gluten. Didn't stop my dad from trying to yoink some fucking uh, and fried cheese curds at, at Quick Trip, which I quickly had to take from him. Because last time I, when we were at the stock car race, I was unsuccessful. Yeah, nothing like having to parent your parents! Well, I mostly... I only had to do that for my dad. Which, to be fair... If I wasn't able to have cheese curds for, like, years or possibly decades, I'd probably go a little insane and try to sneak some. No matter how much it hurts my stomach. Eats cheese curds in front of his father loudly and agonizing <laughs> Don't encourage him. Fuck ass tangent. Crow, she's a tumblerina. <laughs> a what? <laughs> tumblerina. A, a tumbler user. So we reach the source of what's woman this <laughs> such is Eats it. Oh, God. You haven't used somewhere since ten years ago. <laughs> oh, God. You're teething. <laughs> So you were probably around when the Misha apocalypse happened. Crow is like 24. Tell her no, old yes. <laughs> You just 
chest to 24. Yep. <coughs> Got pissed drunk for a couple nights in a row. Holy shit. Do you need a cane? <laughs> well. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. Now nah, give, give me one of my hairs! I must make this outline thicker. I must make it thicker. When I was your age, I already had back pain. But to be fair, here the main reason why I have back pain is because of these fat fucking tits. Had to say it. Yeah. Now, Sunny can't remember what happened. Oh, God. Just immediately launched yourself into the bit. For it or not? Oh my god! I'm down to this, Grandpa. Never. Grandpa, get the back and put your pants on! Oh god!
Oh god. The chaos is too much for Grandpappy! <laughs> oh god. Okay. with the live stream link what <laughs> don't worry about it <laughs> because there's more where that came from <laughs> you're still bamboozled and discombobulated flabbergasted fit right into his streams, to be honest. Me? <laughs> what a tarnation! You were so shocked that you turned southern. Let's just say that's a song that that streamer likes to sing in during stream a lot. Was doing some work, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're born in California. You can't be Southern. I'm like you're I IRL grandpa. Midwesterner detected. Trust me, when you're at that age to traumatize children, you will, you will make sure they grow up with trauma! <laughs> ah yes, the typical grandpa shenanigans. Traumatizing the grandkids. Which my grandparents did to me inadvertently. And for anyone wondering why I don't, don't really write a lot of grandparents in my stories, it's because I genuinely forget that some people have good relationships with their grandparents and that their grandparents actively like tried to be part of their lives instead of going to Mexico twice a year and yes that is based on my actual grandmother she preferred going to Mexico Oh, twice a year over like going 
came down west south to spend time with her grandkids. God, what happened to you, Jews? Petition for Jews to go to therapy. <laughs> that fucking emoji. So, I'm probably going to ask my dad if he can get me my graphics card sooner. Therapy in this economy! Blasphemy! Oh god. Now I gotta do the ear. Wait, no. I mean, <laughs> that streamer whose clips, like, I sent you, I've been uh, trying to get him to get evaluated for ADHD for a while. I need therapy when you can double down on another trauma. I'm kind of on my parents' insurance, which is kind of like disabled veteran insurance, so I can probably like afford to go to therapy. And because I have not gone to therapy in several years, my therapist ghosted me. Because I was kind of not really in a mindset where I was willing to like accept. Any coping mechanisms? You... You've never been to a doctor to see if you have any of that shit. But OCD runs in your family. He's so... Oh god. My family doesn't have, like... OCD that runs in the family, but there is dementia, bipolar 1 and 2, schizophrenia, eating disorders, alcoholism, and just a lot of mental disorders. My whole family lineage could be a DSM-5. A fucking DSM diagnostic. Ugh. 
Your big fat ass could never go a day without food. Yeah. Well, to be fair, her one of the eating disorders was like bulimia. So, like, binges and stuff. And then proceeding to vomit said binges. You're like queso! You're munching on goldfish as you speak. Back on topic, you would, you would like to have a position for, for more Thundercracker fix. Yeah. There needs to be more Thundercracker content in our lives. And Buster. Yeah, and Buster. The best duo. The best duo is a man who just really loves his dog. They are the best of friends. Man's best friend? How about Bot's best friend? Fuck. Not what I meant to do. Not what I meant to do. I mean, I probably need to like read some of the comics where Thundercracker and Buster are part of. Not even a man that's a whole whole alien mech, but we'll go with it. I mean, he might be an alien mech, but he can still be considered a man. animals to you. So, Thundercracker is a man. Diagnosed man by Tumblr. The manliest of men. Also, I just thought of something funny. Just, I'm just thinking of like, a transformer. Who is like, who just crash landed onto like a farm in fucking Wisconsin or something. And... Doesn't really do much with the war. Or he's just... They're just helping out the, the farmers. 
Because, you know, that kind of decided to take them in. Not much Skywarp either. Yeah. You have beef with... It's my father's birthplace! Oh my god. You got beef with Wisconsin. And the Wisconsinite. <laughs> I mean, I am a Wisconsinite by blood, and I was literally there two weeks ago. You just had a teacher in middle school that you didn't like that was from Wisconsin! <laughs> oh my god. I mean, Wisconsin is, like, incredibly white. Yeah. But a lot of places... But I have a lot of lore from Wisconsin, like family lore. Because my dad is from Farmtown! Where everyone knows everybody! And he basically just told me... My brother and I, if we ever go to the farm town he lived in, can just say that we're the great grandkid hid of uh, of Blorp, or Blorp, 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 and they'll instantly know who we are because uh, the family farm is older than the town. <laughs> I'm not even joking. The family farm is literally older than the, the town surrounding it. The farm is like 140 something years old. Everyone had beef with the teacher? Oh my god. Guess they were kind of like... Not the nicest of Wisconsinites. Which, I remember a video that described the Wisconsinites as basically alcoholic teddy bears. And my dad was just like, yeah, that's true. I mean, if you consider the fact that most of, uh, you know, most of my family members on that side, mostly the male ones, are alcoholics, or at some point were alcoholics. Yeah. Also, something about my family specifically, like, every major event, there's always food. Like, wedding, there's food. Funeral, there's food. Will it be food that... Will the food likely contain peanuts? Probably. But the only thing my dad could have at the funeral will be this? Yes! He could only have the beans, which is why we fucked off to a quick trip after the funeral. I had a burger. It was a good burger. And unlike the fried chicken that I had on, on the last day I was there, it did not give me food poisoning. Because it was in farm town.
<laughs> You're about to hang out with the alcoholics of my family. Yeah, probably not for a while. You're gonna be there. You'll see me at your family event from now on at the food station. Well, I was only there for like four days. And that was because of the funeral. And the day after, I went to my second cousin. Not walking, running. Well. My... I was only there here for like four days and that was because of the funeral. And the day after the funeral I had to go go all the way to a different town called Sheboygan. And uh, that was because I had to go to my dad's cousin's graduation party. And funnily enough, you'd expect that my dad's cousin, like, first cousin, would be, like, close to his age. Like, like, 30 is not the youngest. You'd be wrong. She is 25. And my dad is 51. So, in terms of age, she's more like a niece to my dad than an actual cousin. Yeah, the family tree- My family tree is just very complicated. All three of your main church partners will see would have Ukrainian accents. And since Scorpios is the most illegible, more similar to normal American than this American accent. And you guys got that New York accent. Yeah. I mean, I feel like my OC Subi would probably have more like a southern accent. Because that's the accent I have. Swindle! Yeah. Honestly, I think Swindle would probably have a New Yorker accent. Like, he'd probably sound like a mobster. Like, hey, I'm growing here! Like, hey, by the bean, by the boom. Hold on. Okay, this passes the contrast test. Scorpio cursing everyone out in Ukraine while tripwire and moonshower sit there flabbergasted. 
The sisters are each other's translators! And clip. The moon shadow's new design. You made it red, hovering above the neck. So, one of your friends, all the designs each day finished the characters, and she went that your eyes so quenchy and made her want to cry in a good way. Very compliment, and by far the best one you've gotten. Yeah. Sometimes the weirdest compliments are the best ones that you get. Fingers, yes, fingers. Nummy, her name is Dahlia, not Delilah. Of your face directly to spell right. It's okay. I switched it to the preview. Fuck. Don't 
Dahlia. And eventually I'm going to upload her to Unveil. I'm probably just... I'm probably gonna need a bit. Hooves hand together like a fly. Like the fly. You know what? TFA's window would probably rub his hands together like how flies do! Yep, he would. Cause he's a smarmy snails, ma'am. I probably need to draw a swindle with Spamton from Delta Rune. FP bot. But Swindle isn't is in Transformers Prime. Oh. My favorite, favorite Transformers Prime bot? Ah! I don't know. I, the last time I really watched it was when I was a kid. But I feel like my favorite back then probably was RC. Especially because she is, like, very, very cool. I remember watching the episode where she was with Iraknid, I believe. Yeah.
uber silly. He comes to realize that TFP Bumblebee has three fingers, not including his thumb. Just like Swerve! <laughs> this is a fucking key smash. <laughs> a whole bunch of key smashing. First time you were able and didn't have the chance, you just, just wanted me to know that you love, you love, love and hope you're having fun and hope you're having a great day and hope to hear your story soon. Love bomb! He just pushed the autofill buttons on the keyboard. Oh god. Spit your water. Oh god. Oh, you underestimated the streamer. Reader and Scrimmer. Strimmer and Scrimmer. Fresh that I recently got. It's kind of like this. Oh my god, the ASCII art. It's this brush. It's pretty interesting looking. So it kind of like goes like that.
Oh god. Oh, they have a cloud. They had a fucking cloud. Oh no. They're getting traumatized by Wormy's craving of mech break and then Von Jor sending Scorpion like the firstborn! Oh god. The firstborn! You're gonna put by Compy's ankles. Probably gonna end in disaster, but tell me how it goes. Actually, this brush looks very good, like, goddamn. Set an SOS to copy. Good. I got them. Looks good. Like very good. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be using that, that hairbrush more. Hold on. Let me put that on Do Not Disturb. You gave Moonshire some stickers. I said Scorpio put the stickers on them since they're 20 foot shorter than Moon Mooney. <laughs> but yeah. I'm honestly a little kind of obsessed with this, this look, look that I'm giving Dahlia.
Like, damn, it looks good! Flame. Mm-hmm. So, hmm. Dahlia reminds you of Redson from uh, um, LMK. idea what that is and honestly I'm kind of scared to ask I it's not bad LMK stand for? Okay, just go little Redson. Oh, monkey kid. I didn't know. Oh, that was what you meant with his LMK. I. Because I never watched that show. He used to be obsessed, got over it in a month. So I'm going to save this for now. And I'm going to show off my progress on my model. I know she looks bald, but just there's a reason for this. baby scrunkly indeed thank you windows very cool I put you on do not disturb
okay. I forgot to do that. Oopsies. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, uh...
Hmm. Oh, I see now. Oof. Uh, what the fuck? What happened? Tun and goes wonky, yeah.
Okay. Okay, I just had to message my dad real quick. Chewing on the buzz of the innocent! Oh god. But they did nothing. Don't go your wasp. They did nothing. Hunger. Yeah, understandable.
Oops. I know, it's just scuff all around. Okay. Clearly there is something I'm not going to save that. That's something I'll have to fix later. Because I don't want to bother with it right now. to do an intermission and now so that I can figure out what the hell is going on with that and I kind of been doing this for like nearly two hours and I need to take a small break so yeah I shall be right back
Okay, I am back. So, I think I can try and figure It's probably going to involve a lot of troubleshooting. So, mouth is good, and the tongue is also good. So clearly, I messed something up. You know, as, you know... Clearly, something got messed up while I was working on that. Miss TFP breakdown. Delulu grind.
Oh shit. Okay. I am currently struggling with congestion. Give me something helping and it didn't make me laugh right now because it made you who laugh. Ah <laughs> oh, yes, Misfire. Her booty. The booty of the Misfire. His yeah, it's humongous. Yep, the Scooby Toilet Grammar is getting to you. Unfortunately, I cannot save you. Okay. Please tell your family. He, I love them. Strap dies like Ambulon. Why did you go lengthways? <laughs>
Okay, I'm going to save that. And... Probably do some more... Work on this. Bedtime for you. All right. See you later, Crow. Unhinged douche box. As far as dum dum and my darling sweetheart, I didn't not close your eyes. Yeah. He is indeed, he is the biggest himbo. And most likely an ADHD -er. You just want to eat him up? Oh, Lord. He felt like he would fall head over heels for someone so hard, he just straight up hard hide them and grin at them like a love struck idiot with this silly ass goofy. He grinned, right? Just pinch his cheeks and leave lipstick all over his face. I don't even wear makeup, but it wasn't for him. Oh lord. The misfire brain rod is coming for you. I mean, he is just a silly little guy.
He just went to lay your head, his head in your lap and listen to his hyperactive ramblings. Hold on. That was meant to go there. All right.
Okay. I think I have an idea. And voila! That was the idea I kinda had.
It appears that I forgot how to splat. That is Dahlia. What if you bit my ankles? No. You're not allowed. I'm not gonna let you. I kind of need my ankles. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to go to this. This now. The sillies. Indeed, the sillies. Okay. The scavengers are the silliest of sillies.
a gif of me dancing right there. I'd have to animate that. In the empty space. Well, I could... I would do, make a little... GIF of me dancing in the empty space. That would take a little... You know, some time... To, you know... Make... Send it back. Okay. Okay, so... Miss Fire is the type of about to be uh, extremely oblivious about his crush. Like everyone knows, he tells everyone to tell his crush. But his crush already knows. <laughs> yeah, he feels like it's the type of guy to do that. There we go.
So... I'm just going to put Cerebros in the corner. He is watching indeed. And he is also watching. Okay. So, yeah. That is pretty much it for that. Of course, I'm probably going to work more. He's just standing there menacingly! Yep, he is. Cause he's Pharma. Pharma Jean. But yeah. I know the stream today was relatively short, but I what a, a work on my model. Yeah. You did indeed. Cut lengthways. But I think I'm going to end the stream here. So that I can finish doing the head rotation. I want to at least get those done. And uh, tonight. Because my debut is next is in eight days from now. Yeah. I'll probably explain more of like next week's schedule on Friday. You know, not Friday because that'll be a more of a community night on my Discord. But on Thursday, I'll probably explain how I'm going to structure. Kind of next week big schedule because Wednesday is going to be the big day, but it's probably going to start a little later. Like probably like two or three p.m. EST because I want to do something a little because that's the day that I had my jaw surgery five years ago. I want to. I probably want to go out to eat, eat beforehand. So yeah. So you may help Moon Knight. Oh God. So, I'm going to raid into Alaria. She's British. Hmm. 
So, yeah. She's raided me several times before. So we are going to raid into her. And I'll be seeing y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all!